there's only one story that interested me today. It's Monday, July 11th. And that is about Google+. Plus. As you may have heard of in my previous videos about Google+, Plus, it's Google's new social media engine, if you will, just pretty much almost a Facebook copy, if you will. In a sense, it's like Facebook, but it's not exactly like Facebook. Many features they have copied, like the stream, is your wall, and such. You can upload photos, videos, all that sort of stuff, the same as you would on Facebook. The thing is, Google Plus has been so popular all of a sudden that it's overwhelmed Google servers and they really don't even have a clue how many users they have right now their estimates between like 5 and 9 million users which is amazing that they released this just last week I hope they get these bugs fixed up and all that stuff because I've been using Google Plus off and on I mean nowhere near as much as Facebook that I've used but Google Plus seems like a very very solid competitor for Facebook just depends how Google learns from its feedback and applies that to what people want or what people need in their social media networking sort of thing. Right now they have a very good setup with their circles and everything else. It's very cool. I think it's really interesting. The major thing that keeps me coming back to it is group video. It might not be an application on your computer, but it is an in-web browser way to do multi-video chat for free. Something I wish Skype would figure out to make a model to make theirs free. Because they have very nice group video chat, but now that they've made it paid, none of my friends, none of us, even though it only takes one person having it, none of us want to pay like $5 for one month or like $8, $9 a month, even though that doesn't seem like a lot. If you only use it like maybe like four at most times per month, it just, it doesn't. You don't make use of it. If you're not if you use it every single day, it could, but it's much nicer using the Google video chat and everything else. Just like when Facebook is shown, this has security issues and everything else, people saying they're not safe on this and everything else. Any new website that's come up will have these issues. Facebook probably even still has privacy issues. I'm sure it does. You don't hear about them as much anymore. You used to constantly hear about them for years. Facebook having privacy issues and like giving away people's info and selling info and all this other stuff. Unfortunately, the same thing's gonna happen to Google Plus. It's just the users who are smart enough not to put up information they wouldn't care about being stolen. It's like you're not, you shouldn't put your phone number, you shouldn't put your address, obviously not your social security number or your credit card. Any of that stuff should not be put online. Period, unless for like a bank account or something else. And that's all I really wanted to talk about today, about Google+, Plus, my opinions on it, and the such. There's no any really other news that really interested me next to this. But if you um, watch through my whole video today, I'm going to give away, since Google+, Plus is private right now, and requires a private invite for you to get into it, for 10 people who ask to be invited to it, and are subscribed to me. If they send me a private message and they are subscribed to me and leave a comment down below saying they want an invite, then I will invite them via email to Google+. Plus. Now, I probably won't add you to my friends, circles, or whatever that else, but it'll allow you to invite your friends so you, you can experience group video chat for free and figure out how to use Google+, Plus and give your opinions, and that's such. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on Wednesday.